making a stir. Waiting for the train home back to Linkerstan. Weather's dead. I'm pretty dead. That is. Hanging around, so I can take it. Out one of these little hanging baskets. It's kind of like take it, isn't it? You know what I mean? Just hanging there sometimes. I mean, even just swinging. Let's back up from that smoke here because there's some shit in there that I don't want to be breathing in. One thing I love about the old boy, yeah, always had a fire pit. Got to have a little fire pit down the garden, here. You know what I mean? Get rid of the wastes and shit. Don't know what this storm's saying, yeah? It ain't rolled in yet. Fucking sun's busting out now, though. A little weather report for you. The uh, drops are beginning to increase in size. It's quite heavy rain. Fire. It's still going, but it's struggling a bit. But I got faith in it. My throwing skills may be questionable, but I tell you one thing that ain't. I ain't no bitch. Give me a sheet for a coat, a slingshot and some newspaper, and I'll survive in near enough any climate. Still no thunder. It's been a couple of hours later. I can hear it off in the distance though, so I think it's rolling in. Yeah, for a nice little, nice little storm tonight. You gotta love a bit of fun, don't you? It's all well that I'm back filming some fun day, you know what I mean? Back with a bang. I'll wait until that first fucking bit of hun thunder drops, yeah. I'm gonna finish off my little roach. But I reckon it's gonna be a good one tonight. Oh, whatever there, other than that. It's getting dark, man. About fucking 40 minutes later, still no thunder. Yeah, it's fucking dismal, look at it. That ain't the fucking hose leaking, it's from the sky. <laughs> uh, there's levels to this shit, isn't there? I mean, it's bad having to sit and smoke outside, yeah. But I feel bad for the people that ain't got a fucking, you know what I mean, a little shelter. Right now. Sitting down right there. Right now, this ain't seen bad. Hang on. Catch. Yeah, I'm going some shelter. Man, I've been there before, like places I used to have to go, just up the lane from my house and at the last spot, I'd go and fucking stand up on, on the lane, yeah, and it'd be a day like this, so I'd have to have my fucking hood up and I'd be like smoking like this, like, you know what I mean, being a fucking umbrella for the joint. <laughs> Reminds me of, of one night, I was out, there was like a, a party on or something, it was like one of the pubs, but you know, like they can rent out the back rooms in the pubs, so there's a little party going. And I don't know, I don't know, I fucking. I'll oh, skip that one, actually, it's some bullshit story. It's just where I fucking ended up about to go sleep in someone's front garden. Because I had like a beer or something, I didn't want my parents to find out, I was like 13 at the door. So I'm holding them in someone's bush. Then I slide there for a bit, I think, yeah, fuck this. I just went and let myself into my mate's shed. I was supposed to stop at fucking his yard, but last minute changed plans on me and fucking went off with his missus and that. Obviously, because I weren't pissed off, he probably thought, yeah, it's just going to go home, innit? Nah, but I had, I had to keep that shit real sneaky. And the fact that I had a beer for my parents, so I just went and let myself in your shed. Luckily at the time, it was all kicked out. <laughs> His shed was sitting out like, a fucking sofa bed in there and a fucking uh, big fucking throw rug in that. 
Second, I spent a few nights in that shed, actually. We used to fucking just chill out in it, like camp out in it. Uh, one night that I fell in the river too drunk, I actually teleported back to my mate's shed. Just woke up there, like, yo, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought I was in the middle of a field, but it just turned out that I was in a shed. Yeah, props to my pals anyway for saving me from a river, not letting me uh, get hypothermia, hypothermia or drown. <laughs> So I suppose you did give me the alcohol when I was like, a couple of years younger than you, so it's your fault, you know what I mean? <laughs> Should have been supervising me accordingly. I'm sat here smoking up. I should really be sat here smoking up because uh, the old boy will give me a smack to for this. It's wet and miserable out there, isn't it? So. Stinks the house out in it the doors right there. Really, I shouldn't just get a little rag to put along the bottom. I'll we'll put some wood blocks down the bottom. <laughs> Poof, sorted. Sad times here yeah, when it gets down to this point here. Yeah. Now it's got two joints. <laughs> if you're wondering how long the ounce lasts me, I don't go crazy on it. I'll pick that up on the 10th, <coughs> and on a Tuesday or something. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> today is the 18th. That lasts me till tomorrow. I'll... So yeah, 10 days, 3 gram a day. Not even really that much really, probably more like five gram a day for the first three days and then two for the rest, you know what I mean? <laughs> Smoke like you fucking got a shitload while you got a shitload then when it's gone, live like a peasant. That's until we can find some employment again. I mean, I got enough to smoke as much as I want throughout this period if I really want to but it's to do with not burning off the cash man, you gotta conserve this shit. You're trying to be walking all the cash up the wall here, yeah. trying to ration that bitch, trying to get it lasting. Yeah, encroaching on three hundred anyway. Not like that close, but next month we'll hit it probably, maybe the month after. We're gonna get a little celebration on the go. Yeah, all the different flavours in it. You get like four different packs, man. Just have a little smoke, but do a fat head off to it. Yeah, that's about all I got for you on this one, anyway. I've just been being a bum lately, just sleeping all day and shit. <laughs> Smoking dope first thing in the morning, but it's the current climate in it, man. It'll all blow over soon. It'll be beautiful again. It's a good time to be living at a minute, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it reflects in the video making, doesn't it? I want to be out doing the adventurous shit and that. The shops are open back up now though. I made a fucking video the other day like discussing all this political shit here, but I just decided not to post it, man. Not because like, my views, I don't really have that strong views like, either way and that. I just think people need to chill out, you know what I'm saying? let other people think what they want to think, don't really try and change it and shit, but obviously, yeah, take all the statues and shit, man, that will bother me, man. It's just a dirty topic, innit? Nasty topic.
I'm here too much of that shit, man. Oh, I don't want to be a part of it. <laughs> yeah, it's good what they're doing, though. It is good what they're doing, obviously. Even though it's stupid as fuck. Gathering in fucking crowds and shit. They're campaigning for what they believe in, I suppose, you know what I mean? You've got to, got to stand for something, ain't you? It's just the perfect climate for it, obviously, with everything that's happened in the past couple of months. People just angry, but they want the fucking looking for that little, uh, I don't know, that reason to get out of the house, I think. <laughs> That's mostly what it is. I'll see you in the next one, anyway. Um, next couple of days, I fucking popped into a shop because I seen they were selling Granda still playing. Three bastard pound I paid for it. But yeah, I know it's still selling CBD flour and shit. And he let me smell it, yeah. It's potent, like. Beautiful smelling, so I figured that it's gonna taste not. So I'm gonna try a little gram of that. I ain't gonna do a review or nothing, I'm just because it's CBD and it, you know, it's something different. I ain't gonna drop that shit. It's not like I'm gonna start doing gantry reviews because I can't get gantry like that, you know what I mean? Um, I, fucking <laughs> I can't tell you what new flavours I've tried this year. I don't think I've tried any new flavours this year. I think Maybe like a wedding cake or something, but that's been about. That took me three years to get that. Now everyone's getting all this zushi and fucking, I don't know. Man. I need to find me some better links and start getting some shit off the internet. Luck says them, that's what we're gonna do. I need to get me some employment so I can start getting some money to chuck at the videos again. Saying that, I'm just gonna use the fucking reserves in it. Bear for all the cash I got and the fucking build up again because it's a good motivator not having no money in it when you got a little bit you comfy you sit back and think yeah I don't need to go to work for a couple of months <laughs> but it's not a good way to fucking live man poverty is a good motivator that's facts but much love appreciate you